Hey y'all, Mr. Daniels here. All right, this is our closing video for week two. All right, so I'm gonna get started here. First thing I wanna bring up is we went over accepting late work and how that is applied. Okay, this is in the announcements. We talked about this during our virtual class. If you weren't present, then you need to go back and review the announcements here in the stream and you'll see it right here, okay? First, second, and last. This last piece right here speaks to late work. Every teacher probably accepts late work, but everybody does it differently. This is how I will do it. If you don't understand, you need to reach out to me because I explained this in class this week. The online textbook, I let everybody know that my HRW app inside your portal is working now, okay? So everyone should have access to this, and we verified this in class as well, okay? You need to read this announcement because if you're having trouble, I ask you to do something specific down here, all right? Last, I added a daily attendance topic, okay? We talked about this in class as well. Read this announcement, okay? Because this form is only if you cannot make it to our virtual meetings. The daily attendance is here. It's a new topic and I'm going to try to keep it at the top, okay? You'd simply click on the form, fill it out, and submit it. All right, this week, what did we talk about? Well, we talked about the regions of Texas, okay? This is chapter three in your textbook. If you got into your textbook, you may have been into chapter two and chapter three a little bit, all right? We, had, we didn't have a ton of assignments this week. We're still easing into things. It's only the second week. But I want you to know that this format that we followed here in chapter three is the same format we're going to follow all year long, whether we're virtual or in person, because we're still going to make use of Google Classroom. All right. We have our resources followed by our vocabulary for the week. You guys took a quiz over the elevation and precipitation inside the four regions. You had a demonstration of learning which was really pretty easy. You only had to identify three out of four regions, but you should have been able to identify all four, okay? You did a Google slide presentation of the regions of Texas. Okay, I provided an example for the mountains and basins, and your job was to go through and fill in the remaining three regions, okay? Five slides for each region, talking about natural resources, economic activities, cities, geographic features, and the like, okay? And then finally, we concluded this week with an assignment that was added on Wednesday, and it was a poem, and the format follows here, okay? If it's a new assignment, you should find a video if we haven't done an assignment before, okay? But moving forward, like we've done Google Slides in week one, so for this Google Slide assignment, I did not include a video, all right? Sometimes I will attach the work and make copies of this for you, so that when you click on view assignment, it already appears up here in the top right corner for you, in which case you would just click on it, open it, make your edits, save, and when you're done, turn in. In some cases, when you click view assignment, you'll need to add or create. Okay, you'd have to add or create. We've been over this, okay? So if I don't include it for you up here, like for vocabulary, for and get back to our class, on our vocabulary, this video, okay, you won't have this how-to video in, in, the, in the subsequent vocabulary assignments, but you can refer back to it, but I tell you, open this document up, and you open with, you click Google Docs. In this case, it will save into your Google Drive, right? You access your Google Drive from your apps page, you open Google Drive, find that document, and then you add it or upload it to Google Classroom. Let me show you what that looks like. You would click view assignment over here where it says add or create. You wouldn't create a new one, you would add it. You click the add button, select Google Drive. It opens up Google Drive. You find the assignment that you were looking for. And if this was the assignment, you would double click it and it will add it, okay? And then you would click turn in. You add the wrong document, you simply click the X, it goes away. Okay, but that is what we covered this week. Okay, the four regions of Texas looking at geography, 
looking at each region, how they're different, how they're the same. Okay, we looked at precipitation, we looked at elevation, we looked at their natural resources. You should be able to tell me which region's wetter, which one's drier, which region has higher elevation, which region is closer to sea level. All right, you should be able to understand some of the differences between these four regions. And as we move into Native Americans, you'll be able to connect the dots between those regions, how they're different, and how the Native Americans living in that region lived differently, depending on the region that they're in. All right, so hey, keep up the good work. We'll see you guys next week. Daniel's out.